What's good, y'all? It's X Rated. Okay, so real talk. I'm like a lot of a lot of people who have been fucking with my music and fucking with BLC's music and all that shit have been asking me questions since I made this announcement that you know JT ain't he ain't BLC no more. Real talk. He not BLC no more. And really, like, I don't. I I mean, like, the whole situation was it went straight like this. As as I stated the last time I was talking about Lord Xavier's mixtapes and all that shit, but um, I'm talking specifically like I made the effort to to assign him vi studio time. You know, I made the effort to get to put him in the studio. You feel me? I spent like three four hundred dollars on him. You feel me? Almost spent like a thousand dollars on him. You know, trying to get him to go to the studio, and then he'll call me like an hour before it's time for him to actually be there. Talking about he can't make it, he ain't got the time, he ain't got the money. But I'm like, you're not paying for the studio time though. I'm paying for the studio time. So I'm like, you got to reimburse me or something. So the last time he did that, I was a dude who I was working with or whatever was had hit my phone talking about, hey, bro, you know, man's is working. It just did a diss track against you. I'm like, what you mean a diss track? So I was like, this nigga ain't dissing me. You feel me? He ain't no ain't no diss track. So homeboy put me on FaceTime or whatever, and I heard the shit. So I was like, oh, so that's on some so he on that disrespectful shit, you feel me? You know, so the homeboy was like he was dissing me and you know, he was trying to diss Lord Xavier or whatever. I mean, it didn't like it sounded like a sneak diss to Lord Xavier, but it predominantly was really about me. And I was I was more than offended because I was like, I've been giving you the time, you know, all that shit. I've been giving you the time, like, I've been giving you the promotion, all that, and you y'all, like, can't, you know, provide. You can't provide decent, you can't provide a decent success if you're not going to be able to, you know, not follow the, the simplest rules. If I ask you to go to the studio and I'm paying for the studio time, that means you got to be able to put in some effort to go to the studio. Not give me with some bullshit excuse every time I, that you go. You understand what I mean? Like, you cannot do that. So, <clears throat> after I heard the diss track or whatever, I confronted him. Of course, I'm not, I ain't no bitch. I confronted him. And I was like, bro, what's up with this diss song, bro? Like, real shit. And he was like, I don't know what you talking about. I'm like, bro, don't lie to me, bro. Because I was like, I heard the diss track, bro. You was with, in the studio with my mans. And I know about the diss track, bro. And he thought I was he thought I was real life playing with him, so I played I played it because homeboy sent me to sent me the tape or whatever. And he was like he's like, bro, that that wasn't nothing serious, bro. That was just to get some exposure. I'm like, nigga, no. Because like that shit we didn't discuss none of that. You didn't discuss none of that shit with me. You didn't tell me that you was gonna make a diss record. No, none of that. I've been out here promoting your EP, your your collaboration EP with Lord Xavier and all that. I've been telling people, been getting people hyped for for months. You feel me? So I'm not like the whole situation. It escalated to an argument, and he wanted to get belligerent, and he was talking about, oh, you you ain't nothing but a whack ass CEO, this, that, and the third. I'm like, how am I a whack ass CEO if I'm paying for you to go to the studio and you jaw like don't want to go? So the short version of that, <clears throat> he want to say. You ain't doing shit for me as an artist. You giving more, you giving Lord Xavier all the time and all the money. And I was like, no, I'm not. Because, like, I've been putting out music for you and Lord Xavier. I've been doing all that shit. I've been putting music out for myself. You know, I have, an, I have, a, <clears throat> I have, a, progress, I have a process. You know, I got to do this shit myself, too. You know, if I want to be in the music business, I got to be in the music myself. I can't just, prov I can provide for my, for my artists and myself at the same time. So I told him, since you jaw like being disrespectful, you keep coming at me some type of way. I was like, <clears throat> fuck it, you're not, you're not, you're not fucking with us no more. You're not rocking with us. You're not BOC no more. And I'm like, you can be replaced because you jaw like you ain't, you ain't showing no type of love, and you trying to walk away, you trying to walk away from all of this after you've been with us for like three, four months now. It almost been like four months. The homie was like really just fucking playing. So I was like, you know what? I was like, get the fuck out. You done? You, know, you feel me? You you done? And that was it. <clears throat> but on a softer note, though, I'm gonna just want to go ahead and spit out a few things. So, Lord Xavier's mixtape, Lord Up, is not gonna drop on the 31st, which is his birthday. Um, it's no real reason to be having that shit pushed back. Really, it's more so just 
it's just to really like so he can he wants to get more music he wants to be make more music you feel me like yeah i've been doing his music for a little while all that i've been doing all that good stuff for him you know he but he want to put out more music you feel me he wants to put out much much more so i'm like okay <clears throat> i was like i got you that ain't a problem with me i ain't got an, i don't have not a problem with that <laughs> so even with that being said you know it's it's gonna be pushed back, you know. It ain't nothing serious. It'll push back for a little bit, but that's about it. And as for the release, I actually still have a have a I still have a title for you, you know, the EP between JT and Lord Xavier. Because like I said, this nigga think that he was gonna get 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 over on me on and money and all that shit. No, fuck that. I'm still making money off his music and him, so that don't that don't make no fucking difference to me. But, so, the Jet Lords EP is actually going to be dropping on the 31st of March. And then, prior to that, there will be my second mixtape. Because I have decided that I was going to drop a mixtape every two months for the next six months. So, I probably will be, I'm probably going to be at, like, my fifth mixtape by, by the end of the summer, real talk. And then, after that, that's going to be, I'm going to make the decision to, you know decide on whether or not if I want to continue the music thing or you know just retire and be a CEO you know I'm, I'm not really gonna sit here and say otherwise but for right now you know Lord Xavier's still coming out with some shit right now but you know Lord Up is just on hold for right now so don't think we stop doing this shit but that's but I feel y'all I feel how y'all feel you know what uh, and you, you see you feel what I'm saying like I'm not gonna hide none of that shit but I got <clears throat> we got music coming that's all I'm gonna tell you so you know, keep fucking with BOC until we stop making music, you feel me? And it ain't gonna be no stopping music.